Hello and welcome today when we're going to talk about a very special subject using extensions. Before we get started, we need to create a new project and give it a fun name like here's how you use extensions. Our project is going to load up and as you can see, we have right here in our toolbox all of the blocks that we're used to. But what if we want to do something that there's not a block for? Well, you can always write a function down here. You can go into functions and create your own function that does whatever you want it to do based on these blocks. But what if you know that there's already a way to do it? It's just not in these blocks. Well, that is where we use extensions. So when you click on extensions, if you're not logged in or you're not logged into GitHub, you'll see just these preset extensions here. But if you are logged into GitHub, you'll also see links to projects you've already created. That's right. If you've already created a project and saved it in GitHub, you can use your project as an extension to bring in your own functions and blocks into multiple future projects. We're going to scroll down here and use one of my favorite extensions. You'll see we have all of these options and I really encourage you to look at some of them, see what blocks they give you. But for now, I'm going to choose Arcade Character Animations. This is one of my favorite so now you'll see we have our character menu and sometimes extensions come in as their own category. Other times extensions get put in underneath other categories that already exist. It's different from extension to extension and you'll just have to play around with it to figure out which yours does. Okay, now here we are. So I want to create a project where I have my character appear to be walking to the right when I'm moving right and appear to be walking to the left when I'm moving left. You'll see right out the gate here. It doesn't know what my sprite is because I haven't created my sprite yet. So I'm going to come in, grab my sprite creation block here, and I'm just going to make my sprite. Let's go do one of the very first characters up here and that that will be my sprite. We have this character animation block here. It is referring to my sprite. We're going to actually choose the animation for walking right. We'll go into the gallery and you'll see here we have a bunch of pre-made animations that we can use. We're choosing this one. It lines up all the frames of the animation. We're going to say done. Perfect. And now I want the character to be appearing to do that walk to the right when it is moving right. It won't move right just because I press the right button unless I tell it to move my sprite with buttons. So we're going to do that. And now I can move my sprite in all different directions. And you'll see that when I go to the right, it moves right. But when I go left, it's just a still frame that moves left. So I'm going to take this and I can come back in here, grab another one of these add another animation for walking the other direction. And I want to make sure so it's looping these frames when I am moving left. There we go. Now you will see as it loads, we have a walking right, we have a walking left, but it's very slow at 500 milliseconds. We want to repeat this animation faster. So I'm going to make this go to 100 milliseconds. And now you'll see yeah, there we go. So I can do that. And then I can have it do a different animation when I go up or down if I want to. And this way you don't have to rely on events to switch that animation out every time you press a different button. This happens automatically. And sure, it's something you could code yourself, but we have an extension that gives you the option. Next, another very popular extension is for tile maps. If you're making your own tile maps in a game, Bring in the tile maps extension and it will give you a tile map there category right here where you can do all sorts of things with tile maps. And the fun thing about bringing in your own extensions is that it gives you ideas for new things that you could do in your game that you might not have thought of before. I definitely encourage you to play with extensions right here underneath the advanced category. And if you get really good at it, Maybe next, you'll start creating extensions for other people. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, happy coding.